Hello and welcome to this preview of our Blacktop website design as a WordPress theme. Now we've had the Blacktop out uh, for a few months now and uh, it's been our top priority to get this ported over to WordPress but because there's so many really cool features that we had never done before uh, for WordPress, it took a little bit more uh, finesse to um, build these components and make them work within the WordPress framework. A lot of them were quite um, not just complex, but uh, very specific, and again, not designed necessarily for WordPress in, in mind, so we had to really do some thinking when we designed the components so they would work seamlessly within um, WordPress. So now that we've gone and done that, we're going to show you the features that we have included for uh, the Blacktop WordPress theme. So as you can see, this is the uh, the typical you know startup video that uh, we show in our online demo you can change that to whatever YouTube video that you want very very easily and just like the uh, website template we have what's called an off canvas um, area um, we use it for a menu also a contact form you can use it for whatever you like okay so we can uh, toggle that there um, we've also got a menu here uh, this is using uh, the bootstrap drop down and then we just have a set of uh, standard text links there. Search bar just like the uh, website template. And um, and then of course we can scroll on down. We've got your, uh, your breadcrumb bar here, social media icons, and so on and so forth. So of course we've got different regions um, where you can style the background just like you would have done uh, in previous WordPress themes uh, with different sort of background images that are predefined. In uh, the black top here uh, there are some transparent regions where you get to see the video that's playing in the background. Now if you don't want a video that's fine. If you have a static image and you want to use a static image by all means you can use a static image and it will use uh, either uh, completely static like as in non-moving or you can choose to use the, the Ken Burns effect where it's sort of animated um, just slightly um, growing and, and shrinking in size. Now we've got some animated components that when you load into the page um, they animate in as well as um, some text as well. These are new components up here called progress bars. Um, they're new to uh, just the black top as far as WordPress is concerned. Uh, we also have these counter boxes down here and again that's another component that we had to build out. Moving along here we've got ourselves uh, uh, a quotator area. We have two different types of quotators, just like in the um, uh, the Blacktop website template. There was this one, and then there's a, another one, uh, just sl styled slightly different. Of course, you can choose between the two. We're just showing the one on the homepage here. We also have um, the social carousel, and this is uh, using our social media um, shortcut widget, but also um, as an owl carousel. So an owl carousel is a nice JavaScript component that allows you to display things so that you can just uh, you know move through them or you know uh, jump jump back and forth between the panels. Of course, we've got our contact form as we've had in previous uh, templates or designs, and then of course we've got this. Uh, it would almost be like a call to action area, but it's actually using HTML boxes. Um, and of course a, a, a map in the background that has a, a sort of a semi-transparent or translucent um, cover over top of it. And then we get to the bottom just like before we've got ourselves uh, your website name that you can put here with a, either a vector icon or a graphic logo and then your, your copyright and your links down at the bottom here. Uh, the blog is itself is no different. There, there are, um, It works just the same as you would have uh, experienced in previous um, WordPress themes. The About Us page, a couple new features here. We've got ourselves the Owl Carousel as a contained item, just as you see here. We also have it as a carousel, and so and when you have it as a carousel, uh, there are hover effects where you can um, you know, get some more information and then click on to view that team member's profile. Um, and just as, as we've experienced here before, you know, we've got uh, the logo down below and some more links. FAQs is just like we've experienced with other um, WordPress themes. Uh, what else have we got here? Let's go navigate via the um, FAQs. Man. Here we go. Contact. Contact. There's another new feature on here, and that's the half cover of the map area and then, uh, you know, your contact information there. So that's more or less a cover of all the new features. 
from the front end aspect. Let's take a look at how it looks on the back end. All right, so uh, as far as the control panel is concerned, there's no changes in the control panel. It's, it's version 4.4.1 of our framework. And uh, there's no, as I said, there's no changes here, although the initialization um, area is new to version 4.4. Uh, if you were using a previous version of our WordPress framework and you're upgrading to this, you're going to notice that this is new. Um, but let's just move along to uh, the, the primary aspects of this particular theme, the homepage slider. So we've got this new slider called the welcome slider, and we can edit it. And there are text slides, just as you see here, not image slides, just text slides. And then, of course, there's the, um, the slide interval and the background. So you can choose between a video, an image, or if you wanted, an active background. Now, if you've never experienced active backgrounds before, that's a, another feature down here. That's where you can actually define a map as in a map background. Okay. So you could go and change the, um, the background to, well, let's just, let's just do this. Let's just go change it to a, um, that waterfall there okay so um, and animation is enabled and we're just going to save the changes there so why don't we go back to the home page and we're just going to see what it looks like now not with the video but with the 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 background image there we go so you can see that it's it's now in the background it's got a slight Ken Burns effect there if we wanted to we could also uh, as I said change it to a an active background so let's just choose an active background call it the contact map background that's the one that's on the contact page okay so we're gonna hit uh, save changes and we're gonna notice that this image now changes to the map okay so if you were a very uh, your website was sort of based upon a city or a chamber of commerce this would probably be pretty good for you okay We'll just turn that back to the video. So as far as the video is concerned, you use a, a YouTube video and you just grab your YouTube video ID and that's all you can all you have to do. There's a couple other features here that we didn't even include in the website template is being able to turn the audio on. Say you had a really great video and it was a very short one and you didn't need it to repeat and you can choose to have it uh, not repeat as well. You can have the audio play automatically. Now, that can be a little bit of annoying if your end user doesn't want to have audio, which is why we give you the option of turning the audio on or off. Because there are no controls with something that is in the background, um, you can't turn the audio on and off or let the user turn it on and off. It's a very specific use case if you want to do this, but the option is available to you. All right, moving along. Um, so... In this particular theme, we have some very tailored uh, layout options. Of course, with the layout editor, we've now gone and uh, because we're adding more and more layouts with each theme, we're adding the ability to filter uh, the different types of, of layouts, just as you see here. It makes it a little bit easier in finding the layout that you're looking for. So, for example, on the home page, which is using the primary layout, oh, and we've also gone in and uh, made it so that these are more like accordions where you can... Uh, close and expand. If you just want to uh, work on a particular region, um, you can just expand that down here as well. Okay, So uh, that's some of the new features of, of the framework as we currently have it here. But we're also going to see here that we've got uh, different regions which have uh, different widgets. Progress bar widgets is one of, are one of them. And then we also have, uh, what would we say? They were the... Hmm, Trying to remember what they were called. The counter widgets, that's right. So why don't we go take a look at where those are here. So we're going to go to the uh, appearance and then widgets area. Now these widgets are intended to be intuitive. There's no real instructions currently uh, included with them because they are just pretty straightforward. Let's go see if we can find where are they. No, oh, not there. Progress bars. So a progress bar, basically you have a label, you have a percentage, and uh, the style that you want to use. And there's some default bootstrap styles. And uh, some stretching. Right now, uh, the progress bar that's available with the blacktop is uh, there's a particular style applied to it. 
to stretch right. There may be the ability in future WordPress themes to stretch a different direction, but currently there's just this one. The delay before it starts to animate and how long the animation is. And you can change that and get different effects by having different progress bars um, stacked on top of one another like you saw in the online demo. All right, so uh, in Home 3B, we have a counter box. And so what you do is you select an icon, and you select the count, and then you just select the, uh, the heading. And what happens is it animates as soon as the user scrolls to that point in the page automatically. Okay. More or less, uh, the home page is then built upon um, some standard components that you would have experienced in previous WordPress themes. If you haven't already, you can and, uh, open these up and, and change the configurations. The home five is, is where we have the uh, what looked to be a call to action, but it's really just an animated uh, HTML box. And then there are a couple other sidebars left and right, and that's for when you have layouts that have specifically a left sidebar or a right sidebar. The one new sidebar region that we have here is called the off canvas menu. This is what happens, this is what is displayed when the user clicks that menu icon uh, in the top right corner of the page. Okay, so they see an HTML box, and you can change the widgets that are displayed here if you wish a menu as well as a contact form, and you can configure all these items yourself. One other thing is you can actually create more than one of these uh, sidebars, of course, by hitting the Add Sidebar link under the Appearance menu, and you can have different uh, sidebars configured for different pages. So for example, we'll go to the Black Top and then Layout Editor. We'll go show ourselves the primary and to edit the sidebar associated with the off canvas layer, it's just down at the bottom of the page here. And it uses the off canvas menu sidebar. You could have decided to create a new sidebar from the appearance menu and then add sidebar. You can create as many sidebars as you like. Put your own widgets in there. And for this particular uh, layout and any pages that use this layout, have something different there. Okay. So there's a lot of flexibility available to you. And just as in, in uh, previous WordPress themes of the WordPress theme framework 4.0 or, or 4.3 or 4.3 or later you have the ability to turn these um, sections off and on you can turn off any you can even rearrange them um, you can add as many as you like we have different you can add in a sidebar row a widget row a divider preset there's a lot of flexibility here for you. We've gone and uh, initialized the system so that there's a bunch of layouts that you can choose from by either applying them to your page by selecting the page tab and checking your checkbox or doing that via the actual pages view by going to whichever page you want to use and then choosing the layout from the available layouts that are shown here. Now we have a, a number of tutorials uh, if you want to go into more detail about how all the layouts work and how the different page types work. Those of course are available by going to the tutorials link available in the framework and then you can go through all of these tutorials here in more detail. Anyways, I hope you enjoy the Blacktop WordPress theme. Uh, we really uh, think it's fantastic. Uh, it has just about all the features of the uh, the Blacktop website template, but as you see, you know some things are, are uh, just slightly different than the uh, website template. Um, however, it's got some great functionality. In fact, in some places, it has even more functionality than the website template. Anyways, I hope you enjoy it. Thanks so much for watching.